everybody, Anthony with Wake Makers, and we're putting audio in the Taiga. So we've got a big shout out to Roswell for hooking up with a humongous R1 speakers for the tower. These will be going up here real soon. We've got amps to power everything, a new sub for underneath the driver's seat, as well as in both speakers, and a real fun RGB controller. Uh, we're getting ready to mount the amps so we can start to run wires and everything through the boat. We got all the old stuff out. Let's get this new stuff in and get out on the water. Cool. It's pretty neat. I think that should work. So let's not forget, back in 1999, we didn't have quite the advanced, sophisticated stereo going on in there, so we had to kind of retrofit a little panel to be able to mount our amps to, along with our distribution blocks and our RGB sensor. Uh, we're gonna actually be able to get this mounted into our observer's compartment, uh, but because those walls on either side, we don't want anything poking through, making more work than we already have to, we put it on this panel so we can get mounted nice and flush, and we can route wires all to the bottom to keep moisture away and getting sounding good on the water. Blocks and stuff and whatnot. It's a charcuterie board of amps. A charcuterie board. So now that we know where our amps are gonna be going, we need to run our power cords back to the battery since they're in the back. We can't relocate them anywhere else. Uh, we also are gonna run our speaker wire through the bow as well as around the bottom of the boat to get the bottom in boat speakers. We've already got the speaker wire mounted for our uh, tower speakers, so that'll be an easy access point for us. Um, now comes the fun part of just fishing it through. Many hours later. So as exciting as it is to watch us run uh, wiring throughout the boat, we're gonna skip that and keep from boring you in that, that process, but we've got all of our wires run from the head unit back to the battery, up to the amps, and out to where we want our speakers mounted. So now we're gonna need our in-boat speakers mounted, as well as up on our tower, the big R1s mounted. We do need to uh, relocate where our wires are coming out of the tower, just because since the speaker's gonna be up high, we wanna have something up closer to that speaker, so it's a little more hidden, tucked away, and you won't see that when we're out in the water. That's the correct, uh, those are the correct installation terms using the instructions. For sure. More. Less talky, more cutty. So we got our stereo now installed. We got all the wires run. Tower speakers are working great. We got all the amps dialed in just right. Thanks for coming in a little early, Joel, getting that taken care of for you, for us. We're not wasting any more time. We're gonna get these seats unwrapped into the boat, dial in the motor, as well as get everything prepped for going to the lake. We'll see you on the water. <laughs> 